this is not the right position to show this thingy okay let me see how i can show you hi everyone archana here today i'm going to show you this beautiful shabbylicious hanging mini album you can say uh, since i am using a album word here because uh, these hangers these pages are really large size pages so you can easily uh, use uh, wallet size or little bit larger than that picture on each page so that's what i called it mini album so uh, i'll show you uh, basically this uh, wardrobe uh, chipboard hanger is from scrapnik and uh, it has seven individual pages four of them are big four of three of them are small i will show you in detail uh, soon but before that i will show you this uh, thing which i have created using beautiful paper collection by craft and you design it's called bellissima rose and uh, i will show you all these beautiful pages papers and embellishment so first page so you can see this is quite a big page right so let me move it there and can see i will give you a measurement so each page without hanger it's five and three quarter and with hanger it's seven so this whole thing is seven inches long and wide it's four inches wide this part and this one might be a three inches the inside part so um i have cut all my uh, pages using my scan and cut machine but uh, you can easily uh, draw by hand some of some of the pages i have uh, cut by hand uh, tracing all these shapes and uh, i made my backgrounds for each page so you can see here all the beautiful flowers papers and uh, laces and i have used my uh, cherry lane design die for uh, these beautiful leaves and some other dies and uh, there are so many beautiful wild arcade craft paper flowers and some of them are prima roses you can see here scrapnik chipboard also uh, there and the back side is pretty simple so you can easily use small pictures here and there it's up to you how you want to use this thing uh, i just created just for a home decor piece so i don't want to use any picture but uh, i wanted to tell you this is big enough to use for pictures and uh, next page is small one so smaller page height is 5 inches and with hanger 7 inches so hanger is little bit big and you can decorate this hanger also nicely i colored it with prima's uh, this metallic acrylic paints and i love these paints so so much i use everywhere <laughs> uh, anyway i have used some of the gra graphic 45 dies here and there some cute laces and prima flowers and uh, this paper i am in love that's what i wanted to use this bellisma rose paper collection for this particular project since this is very shabby kind of project and this collection is truly perfect for this you can see i love pinks and greens and white so next page here very pretty and again i have used graphic 45 cutout and you can see all the pretty laces and flowers here so pretty then another small page i kept it simple because i love this page this design and uh, here i have used chipboard piece and some of the flower bouquet here and i have used stick pin which i got it from hobby lobby their wedding section i love these stick pins they are so cute i didn't put any other beads here but if you want you can use beads too and some cute roses you can see these roses they are so lush right so 
pretty so pretty and of course I'm going to show you the kit after that so you will see what you are getting in there and uh, next page it's this one and by the way I cut these dress forms kind of dress shape uh, using my brother's can and cut machine uh, this one is included in their free patterns so I thought I'll use that here so super pretty and another chipboard piece here and uh, all these pretty flowers and you can see the image super cute right so shabby and uh, then this page so so beautiful and this big flower here and laces and another chipboard piece underneath and another stick pin right here rose birds so cute and the last one here which is like this so cute i love these papers you can see the design and roses and everything closely right here so pretty right I think this is very perfect perfect collection for this type of project so cute and then this is the hanger and it is very sturdy you can see I'm showing you here it's a three piece three layered chipboard these are actually not chipboard these are wood so laser cut wooded pieces wooden pieces so I think it's blurred I'm not sure you can see and I use that acrylic paint isn't it pretty paint and the towel and another side other side and uh, this part it has this base part has two layers so I will show you like that I didn't color it back side but can see these two layers I colored here so pretty and I decorate this part too and I scan and cut these uh, pieces also inside and outside and uh, seam binding and some fabric butterflies so super cute these silk butterflies and silk flowers I love these silk flowers so so cute so delicate flowers and here also so I will show you how to assemble this one too since they are coming in a parts uh, so I will just quickly put these in and I'll show you what you are getting in the kit of course you are getting this chipboard set that is our main thing so I'll put it aside all right so for the papers as I mentioned this is the perfect paper I'm not going to open it each and every page uh, if you want to check these papers very detailed and close go to the website which is www.craftandudesign.pl uh, so you can see all the pages in detail but I will try my best to show you close so super pretty Oh my gosh I love these lush roses and these are 36 sheets three sheets per design so you will get uh, decent size papers decent number of papers I mean so they are perfect for this uh, pages and you can see the biggest page can fit here but if you want to use same page paper for the hanger you need to cut uh, separately with the your left or pages but uh, it's perfect right and for this part this whole part I have used two cutouts like uh, two pieces and then I put these two pieces as a long page I mean long piece and then I cut them out so flowers I will have two sets of beautiful Prima's flowers I used all these flowers for this project so these two 
flower sets and they are so nice so good so light colored pastel colors that's what they go well with these and since these are flat uh, it's really easy to uh, hang all these pages here if you use very bulky flowers like this one i have used this one uh, just for one page so um, but it has a decent uh, gap in between all the pages but if you use similar flowers on each page um, it will be kind of crowded so i prefer little bit flat flowers and some dimensional flowers too and then i have some of the beautiful luscious roses these are crafty city flowers so pretty color right so nice and the quality is amazing and uh, then i do have another crafty city flowers which are these cabbage roses 10 of these right and uh, then i do have wilder kid craft large to tone amazing flowers which are wild roses 40 mm roses super pretty and you never go wrong with these flowers particularly you can see these flowers how they look on the project stunning right oh my goodness oh my goodness wow I just want to keep staring this view right now. <laughs> anyway, we need to move on, right? So, these five roses. And then I have this bunch of two-toned uh, filler flowers uh, from Wilder Kid Craft. So, they are here. You can make bouquet or uh, like uh, this flower cluster and all. Anything you want. And another luscious roses are here i wanted to add smaller size flowers to and these are sweetheart roses by crafty city and they are so pretty and then another crafty city flowers these are the filler flowers and they are so cute and all these are 10 of each these are only five each and then i do have another pretty bunch which are these Crafty City half or partially bloomed roses. So shabby, so cute. And then we have lots of filler flowers here actually. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I'm so happy. I want to give as much as I can. So here are all other flowers. You can see I love these flowers. So pretty. So they are flat and uh, they are kind of wilder kid craft sweetheart roses i'm not sure why they are blurred here i hope you can see anyway so ten and you can see these two tone pretty pretty flowers and uh, i'll show you uh, these smaller flowers the filler flowers somewhere i have used and i really love these flowers you can see right here see it gives really nice touch right love these ones so much and then what else we have we have so many birds here so rose birds okay so i have three types of rose birds for you so cute and i wanted to use tiny ones since this project is going to be cute and shabby and uh, very delicate so that's what i added 10 of these shabby pink rosebuds and then 10 of these white rosebuds you can color it or use as it is or just use team hold stickle on that and they will be happy and then i do have 25 of these ones smaller one these are 4 mm i think they are so tiny so cute and uh, let me check if i'm not missing any other bunch no but i do have some of the leaves and you can see how tiny these leaves are these are 10 of each see how cute so you can see compare with these flowers 
these are so tiny and cute leaves right so these 10 and these two tone 10 of these wild arcade craft leaves and then i have added this beautiful flower just one one is enough i think <laughs> So one flower is here and then I have added these awesome silk flowers which are 10. So I am giving you these 10 flowers. I am going to show you how delicate are these flowers. But it has this plastic uh, end you can see. You can easily snip it and use on your project. But these are so large, so nice. When you get in your hand you will feel how beautiful these are. So these are 4 five six seven eight nine they are all over here and there is the tenth one it is somewhere there but believe me they are ten so it is hidden somewhere Okay. don't worry these are 10 okay and then I have these two cute silk butterflies sorry they are just folded in shipping but it's okay you can iron on actually they are just silk butterflies so it's okay so two of these and what else I have so I have this Prima uh, thing for you and it's it's really beautiful if you use smaller tiny piece on each page it will look so pretty so stunning so this one and then i have used some of the um, stick pins which i got it from hobby lobby these ones uh, but i am adding prima's whole set of these stick pins which has roses i'm so happy roses and leaves here so when they are very shabby and uh, vintage looking so you can use them on your project of course and uh, then I do have these two scrap nick pieces I have used one of them right here you can see right here and um, I will show you when you cut this heart I mean the get this heart out <laughs> it's so funny uh, then there is a heart shape left right the uh, negative side so what I did on one page I will check I will show you real quick come on come on here so I have used some lace underneath and I just cut this negative part and use it here so if you don't want to waste that just do it and uh, then these pieces i have used i have shown before and uh, i have added these ones too so two scrap nick chipboards and uh, then i do have this paint for you so this is prima's acrylic paint and uh, it's amazing uh, you can if you don't want to cover this uh, other part these other parts then you can just simply color it sometimes these uh, hangers are really um, hard to cover but if you take time you can use pearls and in anything like laces everything but if you just want to focus on other parts and just um, keep it as it is you can color this one and the other wooded area i mean this wood area uh, you can color it so i have added this one for you and uh, also i have added prima's ink chalker so you can easily um, distress the edges and then I do have this amazing resin piece I haven't used it but I'm sure you will use it so I was thinking to use this one on one of the side right here on the edge or one of the front page and uh, you can see this one so super cute amazing right so this resin piece and I have 10 of the resin 
flowers for you. I will show you. These are amazing, pretty shabby. You can see flat back flowers for shabby. So cute, right? So 10 of these. I am sure your project will be amazing and if you buy this kit, please, please, I am just uh, requesting you, please share with me your project. I just wanted to see how you use this amazing kit. Please share with me and uh, then I have some of the laces here. So first of all, I have this big lace and all laces are 18 inches. So uh, you can use any part of this lace like dang you can if you want dangle you can use just this part and uh, other uh, this whole strip to cover the edges sides means like if it's your it's your creativity but uh, this 18 inch lace then this one I love this lace this is the 18 inches lace included and this lace i love this lace so much and this lace has it is like a applique kind of you can cut individually all these parts right and use it that's what i love this lace this is another lace which is this cute shabby simple but elegant cotton lace and then i do have this whole bunch this is actually, I don't know how, 5 meters. It's quite a big lace actually. So it is a crochet lace, lace and it is adhesive borderless. You can see. And I use this lace. The adhesive is really good, strong. And the color is super cute. And uh, I like uh, uh, combining uh, greens, pinks and light blues. So I thought this would be good. So this one and then of course our kit will never ever complete without the seam binding. So I have one yard of three seam bindings here. So green, pink and white. So cute. And uh, what else? So in the main part which is this chipboard piece. So I'll quickly get this in my box and i just wanted to show you how to assemble this kit it's very easy so quickly i will put everything in here and i don't want to edit this video so whatever it's in front of you what i'm doing here <laughs> all the mess and uh, this paper and this color so let's see so i'm going to open this kit it's a large big kit and let's open it okay and you can see all these parts it has a double uh this is kind of sturdy dowel feel like it's not very strong dowel then you can easily replace with uh, any other dowel in same size i think you can get it uh, like our uh, barbecue sque screwers skewers <laughs> sorry so this one and then we have all these seven pages and uh, this size okay and the main thing is this one so you are getting 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 pieces and these are the sides so you are getting four pieces which has a hole for your double here so this piece goes on top which has this slit here right here and this piece goes on top it's very easy to assemble you will get it but i just wanted to show you and uh, this piece which don't have this hole it's plain so it goes on the back so this 
and this will be hidden underneath so you can cover that so these are three layers okay and then you will get two of these base bottom pieces and one is as a layer just like that and this one has a slit so you can insert this slit here okay like that and the other part goes here like that so you can see right here so and this part goes on top of this like this okay and you can insert this double right here like that and use any strong glue wood glue or uh, fabric tag so you got an idea okay so this is really awesome and i'm so happy i had so much fun making this one and i'm sure you will have so much fun too and uh, i just wanted to mention there is a link in the below description box and check it out before they gone and uh, thank you so much for watching bye for now